At five, a suspect accused of shooting and killing a man in northeast Portland at the Winco pled guilty in court today. And the victim's family was there to see him sentenced to 25 years in prison. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy was in that courtroom today and joins us live from downtown Portland with what the victim's family is saying about the plea. Well, Pete, Real J. Underwood's family says that today justice was served. Even though Blake Daniels pleaded guilty to a manslaughter charge, not a murder charge, Jay's family says that 25 years behind bars is enough time for them. I want to know why. Why did this? It was an emotional day in a Multnomah County courtroom. Becky Underwood wiped away tears while addressing her husband's killer. This thing that's changed my life and my family so much. Um, I hope this horrible thing that you've done haunts you for the rest of your life. The family of six-year-old Jay Underwood watched as the judge handed down a 25-year prison sentence to Blake Daniels. He pleaded guilty to taking Jay's life nearly two years ago in a Northeast Portland Winco. I am sorry for everything that I've done. I was not on my meds at the time when all this had happened. I don't know nothing can bring Jay back. If I could take trip places with him, I would. According to the district attorney's office, Jay was in the bread aisle of the Winco in March of 2021 when Daniels shot him in the head. He then stole a separate couple's car in the parking lot to get away. Becky says they knew the shooter for years as someone whom Jay would help out occasionally, but it's still unclear why Daniels shot Jay. It was very, very difficult for my sister to make any kind of decision she wanted. She needed that closure. And I think today we got it. Debbie Harwood is Becky's sister. She says it felt like time stopped for her family when Jay was killed. But now with this killer behind bars, Debbie says they can all move on. It would have been nice if, you know, he, maybe the trial would have given him more time. But 25 years, that's going to take a good chunk out of his life. And he's going to live in a box. Well, Pete and Riel Daniels also pleaded guilty to a robbery charge and a charge that would be a, a felon in possession of a firearm. He also pleaded guilty to another unlawful use of a weapon charge in a separate case, in a domestic violence case, with his then girlfriend back in March of 2021. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.